There was a time when mobile phones, internet, and several other forms of social media were not readily available to the general public. This alternative was somewhat different from the system that was in place at the time. Now, just like in other communities at the time, men who wished to date had to either contact the women directly or go through the women's fathers. This was the only way for men to date in these communities. With the help of a dating service that you can access from the comfort of your own home you can start meeting women like you never have before. It was more difficult for women to find jobs and for men to build relationships with them because there were less means for men from different cultures to connect with one another. It was more difficult to find a lady back then just as it is more difficult to find a woman in the 21st century. She could only date local boys or men who were just passing through town at the time and managed to win her heart. She was unable to date anyone outside of the community. Given this information, it is not unreasonable to draw the conclusion that a greater percentage of the population was it had been possible for other guys to initiate conversations with ladies before he did. If he had been too timid to strike up a discussion, he never would have had the chance to meet the woman who would become his wife. Totally bonkers, don't you think? A significant increase in the emotional distance that exists between people in today's society can be attributed in particular to men's reluctance to approach and make contact with women. Because everyone is more accessible than they have ever been, I believe that it is absolutely necessary to initiate a conversation about what went wrong and what the implications of that could be for the future. When talking with males, this is something that you should always keep in mind and keep in mind at all times. Because you are a man, you view the world through a different lens. One excellent illustration of this is the institution of marriage. Nearly every man will give some serious consideration to the question of whether or not he wants to get married. It is essential to keep the same thing in mind when conversing with women, the benefits of the partnership versus the potential drawbacks, in particular what they stand to lose in the event that the marriage is unsuccessful. This is because women have made the surgery so risky, and dissatisfied men have decided, it is no longer worthwhile to go through with the procedure. She may reject him and ridicule, or label him as a crazy, he needs to have the mindset that, the outcome will be worth the risk, he is taking. The process of approaching women and starting conversations with them, will be more challenging for guys. It would be pointless for a man, to try to start a conversation with a woman, if the average woman would make him feel ashamed if he approached her in an appropriate manner with the aim of beginning a conversation with her. In this scenario, the man would be wasting his time. I've seen movies in which the male adherent is trying to start a discussion with the female adherent, but the female adherent ends up embarrassing him by making him appear like an idiot. In an effort to garner attention, the woman uploaded the video to the internet and depicted the encounter in a manner that made it appear to be awkward. The first thing you need to do is acknowledge the fact that women's responses differ based on the kind of man they are with. The physical characteristics of a man, his demeanor, and the way he interacts with a woman are the primary factors that influence the woman's perception of that man and the value that she places on him. It is essential to keep in mind that a woman's behavior toward a man is directly influenced by her attitude toward that man. For instance, if a woman has the preconceived notion that a man is less capable than she is, she may behave harshly toward him. If on the other hand, she believes that another guy is more attractive or more interesting than she is, she will behave more respectfully toward him and be more receptive to the thought of establishing a connection with him. Look at the conversation that the janitor was having with his boss and compare it to the conversation that an employee woman was having with her manager. According to one line of reasoning, the purpose of all of this is to drive home the point that contemporary women are powerful and self-sufficient. I no longer have great regard for men, and I believe that the vast majority of men feel the same way. As a result of this sentiment, I believe that most men choose to avoid interaction with contemporary women. Because of the disparity between how women interact with men, who appear to be similar to them, and how they interact with high-value guys, many men have made the decision to completely withdraw from the dating scene. In point of fact, who could possibly despise them? If I keep using phrases like hack with that, I might as well just stop trying to talk to women entirely. The reason for this is because, males have been reported to the authorities for approaching females, who have a negative attitude toward them. Men are increasingly expressing their indifference in connecting with women by saying things like to hell with it and other phrases of a similar nature. If you are interested in this video, please like and subscribe the channel, also press bell icon for more videos update.